we might be living in the golden age of genealogical research. With the digitization and indexing of records, the speed of online sharing, the power of crowdsourcing, and the availability of DNA testing specifically for genealogists, never before has so much been available to so many. But with this embarrassment of riches, how can you keep up to date on new databases and material? This video will give you six ways to stay current with your genealogical research. Keep in mind that since sources change so frequently, use these tips as a starting point and perform your own online searches for specific areas of interest and new resources. Number one, the large database sites. Most of the large well-known sites have pages dedicated to new and updated databases within their resources. For example, you could see what's new at FamilySearch through their blog, or Ancestry's recently added and updated collections, or take a look at MyHeritage's online catalog. You can also visit Cindy's List's What's New page for a listing of their most recently added links. Number two, society newsletters and journals. Most genealogical societies have their own newsletters and or journals, and some have both. The difference between a newsletter and a journal may differ from group to group based on the timeliness of when it's issued and the academic nature of its contents. Some people join genealogical societies just to get these members-only publications, which are full of new online sites, techniques and methods, case studies, and local news. For example, the Jewish Genealogical Society of Long Island issues a monthly newsletter, JGSLI Online, that contains timely information on new databases and research opportunities. We also issue a periodic journal, Lineage, that contains less timely, in-depth articles based on research techniques and how-to case studies. Number three, genealogical community newsletters. There are some online newsletters that are written by well-known experts in the genealogy community. For example, Dick Eastman's Eastman's Online Genealogy Newsletter, Judy Russell's The Legal Genealogist, Gary Mokotov's New, What's New, are especially interesting to read because they try to summarize new offerings along with their personal takes on current trends. Or try the new Genio Bloggers Tribe, which as they describe it, is a community of content providers. Number four, social media. If you're looking for information that's more timely than monthly, there's social media. For example, by posting and conversing with other researchers on Facebook, you can get answers almost in real time. Do a search on Facebook for genealogy and you may be surprised how many groups there are out there. Catherine R. Wilson put together a list of genealogical and historical Facebook sites in 2016 and came up with over 10,000. From the more generic genealogy group, to the more specific Jewish genealogy portal, there are groups for everyone, or start your own. In addition to Facebook, don't forget Twitter, Pinterest, and other social media sites. Number five, genealogical society meetings. Another way to keep current is to join and attend local genealogical society meetings. Societies are a good place to hear from experts on new databases, research techniques, and updated resources. In addition, members of societies can discuss new resources that they may have stumbled upon at an archive or more efficient ways of using existing databases. Number six, conferences. And of course, annual conferences are a great place to hear from the community's experts, as well as to meet other like-minded researchers, trade tips, and look for assistance. Some of the largest annual conferences are the National Genealogical Society Annual Family History Conference, Roots Tech, Federation of Genealogical Societies Annual Conference, and the International Association of Jewish Genealogical Societies International Conference on Jewish Genealogy. If you can't physically attend, most have ways of watching select sessions online or offer recordings of sessions after the conference. Today's genealogical researcher is faced with an abundance of changing resources. It's not surprising that you may feel overwhelmed and not know how to keep up. Hopefully these six tips may give you some realistic methods to reduce the confusion of staying current. This has been another helpful video from the Jewish Genealogy Society of Long Island. Please visit our website at www.jgsli.org for more information on our monthly speakers, beginners workshops, and other projects and resources. And visit our Facebook page where you can take part in conversations with experienced researchers. Whether you're on Long Island or an out-of-towner, we'd love to hear from you. Good luck with your research.